Hello, and I'm here today with my single Mary 2404 and this amazing machine. We're going to thread on it today. Okay, you take your spool of thread. You put it right here on this spool pin. And then you put it right here through this little opening hole. And next, what you're going to do is you're going to put it through this silver guide. You bring your thread through there. Now right here, this tension, we're going to wrap it around kind of like where my fingernail is, right here. We're just going to put it through there. That's it. Really simple, okay? And then right here, you have to turn your hand wheel to make sure this is at its highest height. And just move your hand wheel and you will adjust it. Well, the thread goes through this little hole loop right here. Okay? And then once it gets through there, this little squiggly guide, we're going to put the thread through this little squiggly guide. Then we have another guide right here, a little silver guide in front. And I'm just going to go back over this. Hopefully the lighting is the best way you can see it. So that's another. This is a squiggly guy. That's number one. And then number two is this guy. And then number three is a little slit. That's also a guy right here that we're going to put the thread through there. And next you're going to put the thread, your needle through the thread. Well, the thread through your needle. <laughs> Okay. If I have just a little more space, I believe I can get this thread in. Let me cut it with my super sharp scissors. And try that. Okay. So I can pull this through. No, I'll pull it out. Just the moment I'm going to get it. Okay. Well, I did just cut a few of my fingernails. <laughs> Alrighty. So I have that. That's my thread. Woo, got that out the way. I left out one important thing. Had my toddler running in and out. When you put this spool of thread on here, don't forget this. You don't want your thread blowing off. So put this at the end of this spool pin. Don't put it too tight so the thread don't want to move. You have this one, and I, well, I pray you have this with your sewing machine. I know sometimes it's challenging to get all your accessories with your sewing machine, but if you don't, you can always order it on eBay or order it um, online from a singer group that you know and trust. Um, but they have two different sizes. Um, sometimes you can use this one for the smaller threads. And this one, um, this bigger one, for the bigger threads, it just goes on just like that. It looks like it wouldn't go on there, but it actually does. Okay, so I have this on here, because I'm getting ready to sew. Now, if you check out my previous video, um, I also have a video for me showing you how to wind the bobbin on this machine. Well, take that bobbin that you already got threaded, and you drop it down in here. You got it? We just dropped it. Let me show you again. Pick it up. The thread is going this way. And we're just going to drop it down in. Okay? Now we're going to hold this thread. And down in here is some little slits. And, you know, it's kind of like sewing magic. <laughs> but if you just kind of hold this thread, you hold it. You pull the thread to the left with your one hand over here. So when you just pull it to the to the left, it just slides in that slit. It really does. You, you you can't mess this up, trust me. And so I I pulled it, it automatically slid in the slit, and you're 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 almost home. So I'm gonna take my thread that I threaded right here, the top thread. I'm gonna feed it through my presser foot so it goes to the back, and I'm just gonna leave this one to the side. Okay? And 
I'm going to put some fabric here to give it a sew. And don't forget, back here, let's see, can you pick this up, my finger? Make sure you drop that. That's how you lift your fabric. Pull your fabric in and out. And what you're doing is you're lifting up the presser foot. Okay. And so you pull it down so you can prepare the sew. And then you match your foot pedal. And you give it a go. And this is a reverse button. I have a lot of people ask me so many questions. And um, one of the most familiar questions that I can say that's asked the most, how do you do the reverse stitching on this machine? Well, the way you do the reverse stitching, and what reverse stitching is, when you finish sewing whatever you were sewing, or you get to the edge of whatever you were sewing, you hit reverse to lock the stitch. On this machine, it says R, so ha, 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 easy. Well, it's not easy if you don't know what to do. You don't just hit reverse and that's the end of it. You hit reverse, you mash the foot pedal, and you just mash it for a, a teeny little bit, and you'll see the machine go, juu, juu, you know, and then you're done. I lifted my presser foot. I'm pulling my fabric away. I'm cutting my fabric, and I can look and observe what I've sewn. Okay, so um, that's how you thread this machine. I'm gonna do some kind of close, close, close ups really, really quick because sometimes my lighting isn't the greatest. And so you put the spool of thread on here, you put your little cap on, you feed your thread through this little hole. Next, you feed it through this little hole. You pull it around this tension. All you're doing is putting that thread. The thread is going to just lay. And you're just wrapping it around. I know it seems simple, but this, this that's just what it is. You put the thread back here where your my fingernail is. Okay? You see it. And you're just pulling it around. The thread is going to sit just like my finger is sitting. Just like right here. You pull this little silver piece to the highest height. And the way you pull it is by lifting your, um, turning your hand wheel. And so basically, right here is a little hole, and you just slide your thread through that hole. Then you bring your thread down here to this squiggly slit and you just feeding your thread around here and then this is another squiggly slit you feed this the thread through here and then see that slit you put the thread through there and then you feed the thread from front to back and you feed it from front to back and then you can just pull the thread through this press of foot and pull it back there and let's see, can I show you how? I'm just doing close. I'm just reviewing everything I told you. I know sometimes it's challenging to see when you drop your bobbin in, the thread is going to be facing to your right. And this is actually the slit. Let me kind of show you with my finger. Where my finger is kind of pointing, that's the slit. You see that? Little poker. The, the thread is going to automatically slide right in there. And let me see, let me pull it out and see if I can do this with two hands. I know this light can get a little bright. Let's see if I can do this with it. Got the camera in my hand, but this is the best way to get a close-up so you can see. And I don't want you to feel intimidated when you're sewing. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm just showing you the basics. The thread should be feeding this way. So let's just drop it in, okay? The thread is feeding this way. And I'm taking my hand and I'm trying to hold the camera so my finger don't get in the way. So hold on just a moment as I balance this out. Okay, so I'm taking the thread, 
do it on camera. See how it went in that slit? And that's how it goes. Just the perfect, that's a perfect example of how thread goes in a slit. It's really not that tough. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And thank you so much for watching my video with my singer Mary 2404.